Hello everybody! In this video, I will be showing you all how to make a fire station in Minecraft. Um, so, obviously if you guys have seen my channel before, you'll know that I've made a fire engine and a fire truck. Um, and I've also made a helicopter as well. Um, so obviously now we got to make a place to put those three things. So, yes, finally I have made a fire station. Well, actually, I built this like months ago, but... Um, I've just been busy with school as always, but, uh, yeah, so in this video is just going to be the outside, uh, the inside will be a separate tutorial, um, and the outside will include this little, uh, training area, so, uh, and also the helipad, however, obviously I won't be showing you guys how to make the vehicles, uh, those each have their own separate tutorials, uh, on my channel, so be sure to go check those out if you haven't made those already, but, yeah, uh, without any further ado, let's get into this. Also, um, I've changed the way that I'm going to be like doing these, so basically instead of uh, doing material lists like I used to do, I didn't do them that often, I only did them for like a couple tutorials, um, but instead of doing those, because those take a long time to make, I figured I'm just going to grab the materials as I go, um, and it also, it also it's easier for me, so, because I, I know like what materials I need, I don't have to like dig around for them. So you know, whenever you sh if you've seen my other tutorials, you know you'll know that I spend a long time like digging around trying to find materials. So yeah, just I feel like it's gonna be a lot easier just kind of pick blocking the materials. But obviously, you guys can grab them as I grab them. So um, it just doesn't. It also doesn't really make sense to have all the materials on us right away. So um, but anyways, um, uh, the grid you're gonna need is 50 by 34 to make the fire station. So be sure to uh, make this grid in your world if you haven't already. Um, yeah, so just go ahead and do that. Uh, once we've, uh, or once you've done that, we can now get started. So, first things first, we're gonna make the parking lot. So you're gonna need gray concrete, you're gonna need white concrete, you're gonna need yellow wool, you're gonna need smooth stone. You're also gonna need any kind of leaf that you want. Uh, you're gonna need podzol. You're gonna need black and white, or sorry, black and yellow concrete, um, and then just some sort of flower, really. Um, and we'll go ahead and put those up there. Um, and then you just want a block of gold, uh, weighted pressure plate, light, stone button, and uh, you'll also need uh, light gray concrete, birch button, uh, blue and red concrete. Now once you've grabbed all of that, we can now officially get started. So first things first is we're going to go ahead and grab the first row of stuff that we've already uh, grabbed. All right, you're going to come to the very bottom left-hand corner of your grid. You're going to dig out five blocks and replace with um, gray. And, of course, I have no idea how the space we need here. I think it's three, six, seven. Yeah, seven. Okay. So then you want to leave a gap of seven. Uh, you can just go ahead and put leaves if you want. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I'm going to sneeze again. No? Okay. All right, and then next you want to dig out two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is or sorry, not seven. Wow, uh, you want to do five. I don't know why I said seven. That was dumb. <laughs> uh, but yes. Yeah, so then once you have uh, dug that out, you also want to dig out uh, just one row podzol, and then you just want to go ahead and dig out uh, the rest of the grid just at the bottom though, not like on the sides or anything. And you want to do an alternating pattern of yellow and black uh, concrete. So just kind of like a checkerboard pattern. This is basically to let people know not to park here because obviously fire trucks are coming through here and you don't want to be in their way. So that is what that's for. But yeah, um, now uh, once you have uh, completed that, uh, you basically want to do uh, a rows of five uh, gray concrete just from here to here. That's how much. That's all. That's how much you want to do. You want to do five of these rows. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and obviously you just want to dig these out, just like so. Once you have uh, dug all this out, um, should just be able to yeah, just fill all this in now with the gray concrete. And also, I forgot to mention this. You don't have to use gray concrete if your road material isn't is not gray concrete. Obviously, if it is, use it. But if it's not, like if it's like uh, cyan terracotta or light gray concrete, you know, or stone, you know, go ahead and use that instead of the gray concrete. But you know, I'm just gonna be using gray concrete because uh, that's what I always use. Um, all right, and then in this top uh, left corner, you want to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight 
uh, blocks of white concrete dug uh, like in the grid going upward. All right, and then just at the top here, you want to dig out three, put uh, yellow wool, and then put another row of white. And I think you want to do this a total of, um, so you basically, so this is one space. You want to make three more spaces. So that'll be uh, one, two, three at the top. And then you just do white concrete, one, two, three, white concrete, one, two, three, white concrete, and I believe that's it, yes. All right, and it should, yes, all right, good. This should be even once you make it to the end. And also in the future, I will make like a fire chief car as well to put outside. Um, so stay tuned for that at some point. I don't know when that'll come out. That'll, that'll be a while, but uh, especially because I got school. So a lot of tutorials are going to be not going to be out for a while. But once you've done that, uh, you basically want to extend the podzol up to the top like this and connect it. I think that's actually how high the podzol wants to be, like, you know, like towards, or, or not high, but how long. Yeah, okay, so that's the exact length of it. Okay. So then for the smooth stone, you only want to do one row of smooth stone. You actually want to leave a gap to where the pods, so not like behind the pods all like this, but like uh, just behind the spaces. So everything, so, so behind the spaces, but not the pods all, you want to put a row of smooth stone. I'm going to zoom this out a bit. I feel like this is like way too zoomed in. Oops, sorry about my pants being in the way. There we go. Perfect. Um, sorry, let's do this just a little more. Sorry. There we go. There we go. Sorry, I didn't want my pants to be in the frame there for you guys. But yeah, um, and then if you want to, you guys can go ahead and go ahead and just dig out the spaces and put um, the gray concrete. Um, now I, I might, well, I don't know if I really want to do this right now. And we'll do, I'll do the rest later. But yeah, you just want to dig out the, you know, in between the white lines and uh, fill it in with your road material, whatever that may be. All right, and then for your, oh yeah, and then, then just for the, the driveway here, it's literally as long, hang on, I literally forgot, wow, see this is, Terrible. Okay, I think it's just as long. Yeah, just as long as the podzol. So don't go past the podzol. So, like right here. So don't go like back here, because uh, that's where the wall is going to be for the building. So you want to. But everything else, you want to go ahead. Now I'm definitely not going to fill this up on. Well, maybe I will. I don't know. Um, but yeah, basically, yeah, I'm actually not going to do this on camera. So basically, yeah. So dig out that big square, put in gray concrete or whatever your road material is, and then dig out in between the white lines, and then fill it in with the same material. All right, y'all, so once you have uh, filled in your spaces and the driveway with the concrete or whatever, again, whatever road material you are using, that is what you want to have. So um, now what we'll do is we will go ahead and add the details. So go ahead and put everything away. I'll go ahead and grab the flowers, uh, the block of gold, gold pressure plate, stone button, and then the light gray, blue, and red concrete, and also grab white concrete, and then birch button. All right. I don't know if we'll need leaves again. No, we don't. Okay, good. You can use leaves if you want to. Like, if you want to put leaves on top of a podzol here, you can even do flowers here if you want to. doesn't matter, but I'm just going to do um, flowers here. But before I put flowers, I'm going to show you guys how to make a fire hydrant. So, first things first is you want to go ahead and put two block of golds on top of each other. It doesn't have to be centered, but if you want it to be centered, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait. Okay, never mind. It's actually not centered, but you know, just kind of like right where the space is here. Um, if you want it to at least look centered, uh, pressure plate on top, and then buttons around it, and that's it. That's a simple fire hydrant. Really, nothing. Really, no need to make that complicated. Um, you could also just delete these buttons here so that the uh, flowers could be closer, if you want to. But it really doesn't matter. You can do tall flowers, you can do short flowers, or you can just do bushes. Really doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, so that's, uh, that's what you want to have there. And then just at the end here, you also want to do the same thing. Um, actually, yeah, what I would recommend is, uh, before putting the flowers, I would actually put Podzol at the end here, just so it matches the other side. I think that would make a lot more sense. Um, I actually have that on the original, um, and I think it honestly looks really good. Honestly, way better than just simply placing it. So, I uh, see. So yeah, just make sure, you know, and you don't have to just do one flower. You can do a variety of flowers. There's so much you can do with this, but... Yeah, so that's what you want to have there, all right? So now, now what we need to do is, wait, let me make sure, wait, hold on. Um, okay, never mind, I was okay. Sorry, I thought I did something wrong, okay. All right, so actually here at the end, you actually don't want to have a flower because, uh, or, or a bush, um, because this is where we're going to make the American flag. Now, obviously, depending on where, what country you're from, you may want to use different colors. Uh, feel free to do that, obviously, but... Obviously, this is uh, an American fire station, so we got to put American flag. And of course, I forgot how tall the pole is. So let me 
do a check on that. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, it was thirteen. I I, I thought I was around thirteen. Okay. I figured. Alright, so you want to do thirteen light gray concrete. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I already put three blocks, that's thirteen. Uh, oh, and then grab uh, gray concrete as well. I forgot about that. Uh, put gray concrete on top. Next, you want to go ahead and do two blue concrete just diagonally from the blue, or sorry, from the gray. Um, and then just below it, you want to do two white concrete. And while you uh, while we're here, we want might as well put birch button on the blue concrete for stars. All right. Uh, and then uh, just from this last white concrete, you want to extend forward and go down just like that. All right. And then on top of this uh, white here, the white that we placed, you want to do two red. Uh, and then just in front of the last white, uh, the last row of white that we placed, you want to do another row of red. And that's a very simple uh, but basic American flag. I think it looks really good. All right. So now, now that we've done that, uh, we might as well uh, start on the building now. Or actually, but first we before we do the building, let's actually uh, take care of uh, what we got going on here. So. Uh, let's see, we have, um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so we have 13 rows of gray concrete. Um, okay. Alright, so the way we want to do this is you basically want to start from... Okay, so basically you want to kind of come, you basically want to come inside uh, the grid here. Sorry about my camera. Uh, you want to basically come diagonal in here from the grid and do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, or sorry, 13, wow. So that's 15, 14, 13, there we go. Sorry, you want to do 13, not uh, 15, like I was about to do, goodness. Um, hang on, are we actually doing this right? Hold on. Yeah, because we have the... Yeah, should be doing this right. Hold on, sorry. I know I'm annoying as heck, but I really need to make sure. Okay, so this is what? Five? No, it's six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, uh, eleven, twelve, thirteen, <coughs> sixteen, and seventeen. All right. Let me make sure that's right here. So that's. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Oh, okay. So it looks like we need to move the pods all over a row. I was worried about that. Okay. Yeah, I figured. Well, that's okay. Here, we just need to... Literally, need to just get moved over one row. Mistakes happen. I literally make one in every tutorial. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie to y'all. Um, so, yeah, just move this over by one. I kind of had the feeling because it was off-centered from the grid, so... I really should have known that. I don't know why I chose to place it anyway. But yeah, just make sure that we uh, just get rid of that. And there we go, fix that. That's better. Okay, so then, okay, yeah, I'm still right about where the rows of, uh, okay, yeah. So the rows of, the row of 13 that I'm placing is still in the right spot. That's good. So yeah, go ahead and put your concrete there. And then um, just dig this out and make sure it's still inside the grid. Don't go outside the grid. Um, so yeah, again, we're just gonna fill up this back part here. Uh, I'm not going to completely fill this up yet, uh, but, you know, just at least, di you know, dig it out, um, you know, kind of frame it like this. Uh, and this is, of course, like I said, this is the training area for, like, you know, they learn how to fight fires. I think every fire station has one. Hopefully it does. Um, okay, so then next we need to do, what is this, th uh, three, six, nine, wait, sorry, I'm not doing this right. Am I three, six, nine, twelve? Um, uh, 15, 16, all right, sorry, I forgot how to count for a minute. Sorry, I don't know if you guys hear the fire trucks outside my house. It's funny, we're making a fire station and there's fire trucks outside my house. All right. Anyway, so yeah, you want to do 16 uh, stone, or smooth stone at the end here. And, and you want to, again, this wants to be inside the grid, so come inside the grid, then do 1, 2, 3, 4, oops, 4, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And then just do smooth stone there. Perfect. All right. And then, of course, this uh, here we can actually go ahead and put uh, smooth stone. Or, sorry, not smooth stone, but the uh, your road material. Because this is all going to go inside. Actually, you know what? While we're here, go ahead and actually connect this to the driveway. Like so. 
So like just connect all this concrete all or road material all the way to the driveway and just completely dig out this because the garage flooring is the concrete like it's the same as your road material so we could easily just and the garage is the biggest room in the whole station so we can easily get this flooring done and we're not even doing the interior in this video so this will save us a lot of time in the interior tutorial so if you want to go ahead and do this so yeah go ahead and not only dig out all of this concrete at the back or oh sorry grass not concrete you want to dig out all this grass at the back and also uh, through here as well to connect it to the driveway uh, and, and just to completely fill up this, uh, this area. Alright y'all, so once you have um, filled in all that concrete or, you know, whatever road material it is, um, you basically, you can also, you can go ahead and dig out the grid, replace it with grass or whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, Alright, so the next thing you want to go ahead and do uh, is like, so like on this side, you want to basically come to this side right here. Basically, where the gray concrete starts here, you want to go ahead and put iron bars um, all the way around the back here, and then just line it up uh, with the other side like this. Um, obviously, don't connect it, but like you know, line it up to, again. It needs to be where like the concrete starts, and there we go. And then go ahead and make this two blocks high, just so it's extra secure. You know, so obviously, because this is kind of an off limits area, you don't want just random people coming in here. So course you know make sure no one can just jump over it even though in real life people could do that but yeah anyways obviously you know this is minecraft and if this was survival you don't want people you know being able to jump over like that but there we go yeah so once you've done that um uh once you yes yeah, so basically go ahead and grab new materials um you won't need the iron bars anymore you can go ahead and get rid of those if you grab those probably don't need the uh grass block either Go ahead and grab a terracotta, oak fence, oak planks, campfire, ladder, armor stand, uh, and then just any kind of armor, and then a, a head of any kind, uh, a dark oak trapdoor, kelp block, uh, and then oak sign and oak stairs, or you know any kind of wood and wood stair, it really doesn't matter, it's just for a bench. Alright, so uh, we're going to make the training tower, uh, so this is like the tower that they'll deliberately set on fire, so firemen can practice, you know, you know, going in buildings and stuff, rescuing people. So you want to come to this very back corner here, so it's the back left corner, basically. You could also do it to the back right corner, um, but the reason I, did, I chose not to do that is that it, it kind of blocks the garage. You know, I, I really didn't want anything in the way the garage just says the two, <laughs> two fires, but these are meant to be, like, that. They, they can actually move around. These, you really can't move around, so I kind of put it in the least... Uh, so it's not really in the way, that's why I put it over here. You could put it over there if you want to, but I feel like it'd be better over here. Um, so come diagonally from the corner and then do one, two, three, four, two, three, four, just like that. Basically just make a four by four square like this. All right. Uh, and then you can actually go ahead and uh, dig out the inside here and put a plank, a wood plank, whatever. Uh, and then just delete one of the corners here, or well, one of the sides here. So for a door just like that uh, and then I'm not sure how high each floor wants to be it wants to be like two floors tall and then you know be able to have like space on the roof so yeah I think it's literally just you know one I think each floor is literally just two blocks tall and then and then yeah so yeah just extend all this terracotta up by two and then where the door is you want to connect it uh, and then of course you want to fill this up except you want to leave one block empty. This is where we're going to put a ladder. So go ahead and put a ladder there. Uh, and then in the corner you want to go ahead and put a campfire. That's meant to be, you know, fire that, you know, the firefighters set off. Alright, and then you just want to do two more uh, terracotta. Or actually three more because we got to put the next floor on. Uh, or technically the roof. You also want to go ahead and... Um, <coughs> kind of put holes in it for windows these are fake windows obviously but you know just to kind of um give it some detail uh, and then of course extend the ladder up through here put another campfire all right and then uh fill the top up with the wood and then at the top here the very top you want to put fence all around this just like so and that's a pretty simple training tower uh here at the top go ahead and put an armor stand uh, you can make him do kind of a pose where it kind of looks like this is just meant to be a test dummy. So kind of have his arms out, making him look like he's screaming for help or whatever. <laughs> um, but yeah, so then once you've done that, that's 
basically the training tower complete. I mean, you can put more windows, whatever, but that's literally it. And then you just complete the dummy. And then just uh, put dried kelp blocks in just a bunch of like random little spots, really. It, it really doesn't matter where you put them, how many you put. Try, I mean, obviously don't overcrowd the space, but just kind of like scatter them around like this. It really doesn't matter. Uh, kind of make it look random. So, you know, this is kind of meant to be like so firefighters can go around, put out fires. You know, again, this is a firefighter training area, so this is where they learn to practice, put out fires. And this is actually, I think I forgot a material. Yes, I did. Um, you actually want to go ahead and do it. You could just do campfires on top like this, but it just doesn't look as good because it has all that wood and it just, ugh, no. So, um, I'm actually going to do flint and steel if I can find it. There it is. Uh, and then just light the kelp on fire. So obviously for this you want to make sure that your fire damage is on, well, not fire, actually you don't want your fire damage on probably. <laughs> but make sure you grab a material that's con that can constantly burn, so kelp can constantly burn, netherrack can constantly burn, stuff like that. You know, so it doesn't just go out right away. Um, so yeah, and that's basically what you want to have. Uh, and then over here, um, you want to basically kind of like uh, you want to leave a gap of three here at the end, so one, two, three, uh, and then you just want to do two uh, wood stairs, and then oak signs or whatever material your uh, um, stairs are. That's what you want to put on the sides. That's just a simple bench. That's for like you know the fire chief can sit and uh, you know observe, or you know it's for the firefighters to sit down, take a break, whatever. Literally just a bench, nothing, doesn't really have a purpose, but yeah, and that's, um, sorry, my voice is like dying right now as it does in every tutorial. Oh my gosh, I hate when it does this. Oh, why'd I grab a helmet? You don't need a helmet. I don't know why I grabbed a helmet. You already have a head on here, you don't need a helmet. Oh gosh, of course I did that. All right, there we go. And that's basically all you want to have for that. There we go. So that is the fire training area complete. So now we obviously have to make the fire station itself. So, sorry about my camera angle. This camera angle is trash, y'all. Sorry about that. All right, so next, let's make the building. So you're gonna need bricks, obviously. You're gonna need brick stairs, glass pane, blackstone stairs, uh, acacia door, uh, black and yellow concrete, also white concrete. You'll need brick slab, um, and then, You'll need um, pillar quartz block, you'll need bells, uh, birch button, you'll need iron door, stone button. Um, yeah, there really isn't too many materials with this. Um, and then, like, I think we already grabbed white concrete, yeah. So then you just need smooth quartz slab and then red concrete, and that's pretty much it. Oh, and then light gray concrete, of course, for the roof. You'll need that as well. And I think that's actually it. And that's probably the last materials we'll grab. Unless I forgot something. I'm sure I did. I'm sure it's right in front of me. And I'm just too stupid to notice. <laughs> Alright, so grab the first row of stuff that we grabbed, obviously. You know, stuff we already... Just the very first nine things that we grabbed. Alright, so starting off the building, uh, we're actually going to make the garage first. It just makes sense to do that first. Than to do, like, just, you know, everything else first. So... For the garage, um, basically, let's actually, let's start, uh, like, where the training area is here. So, like, just beside the, uh, stone here, you basically want to put a brick, leave a gap of, what is that, six, I believe? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. You want to put, uh, a brick, leave a gap, a brick, and then gap of six, or just go just right in front of the fence here. You don't really have to count that. Uh, and then just uh, extend this last brick that you placed uh, all the way forward to where it till it reaches the podzol, like so. And then do the same thing for the other side. Obviously, don't do it for the middle blocks because then you'll limit the space inside the fire station. So, and then you, but what you can do is you can line up. Uh, you can put bricks that are lined up with the other bricks, the other two bricks. Uh, make sure it's a gap of six. There we go. If it's on one side, it's the same on the other. There we go. So now that you've done that, you want to extend those bricks up by, you'll see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So extend all the bricks up by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. And then obviously here where the door is, the small door, not the big doors, um, the small, like where the iron doors are going to go, make sure you uh, connect the bricks at the top. Um, and then 
yeah and then there we go and then you can actually and then of course connect all these at the top and not only do you want to extend uh just the the bricks at the front and back up you also want to do the same thing on both sides here as well uh so yeah you want to do what i've just done there on this side and then you want to extend the the two sides up uh, as well all right y'all once you have uh extended the two sides up by two just like this or actually well y'all weren't supposed to do that yet well now you can go ahead and extend the two sides up by two but basically what i meant to say was once you extended the walls up by two then you extend the sides up by two like this and the weird the reason we want to do that and you also want to go ahead and actually connect this oops not the slab darn it i am falling apart right now this tutorial all right um so at the ends here you want to connect them like this don't fill this up right here because we're going to put white concrete uh which you can go ahead and do right now uh so the reason we're doing this um is you know because the roof is kind of like uh in uh kind of like where the white concrete is so um it's basically actually no no actually the red no the roof is actually where the brick is we're actually going to top everything off with um yeah, go ahead and yeah, go ahead and top everything off with brick slab here at the top, because uh, this it's gonna have just kind of a slight uh, dip in the roof. Uh, so yeah, that's just kind of what we want to have. Um, so there we go. That's what you want to have there. And then uh, what you want to do next is you want to grab your brick stairs and then just where this last row of bricks is right here, uh, you want to put a brick stair here where this goes down. Uh, in the middle of these three, oops, make sure they're upside down. Forgot to mention, yeah, you want to be upside down brick stairs. So like right in line where this door is here, uh, and then on the side again as well. And you want to do the same thing on the other side. So again, just last row bricks, uh, upside down stairs at the very end, and then the very middle as well. And then you just want to connect them with the slab. Uh, it's just a very unique design. Uh, I quite like this design. It kind of it's kind of old fashioned. I think it's I don't know. I had to look at a real fire station picture. Um, at least I think I did. I honestly don't remember designing this, <laughs> if I'll be honest. All right. So now what you can do, uh, if you want a door to be, so now we're going to make the actual doors, like the big garage doors. So if you want one to be open, you just put uh, the inner, so same thing as we did with this right here. You want to put in, um, like, you know, yellow and black. Uh, concretes at the top like this if you want it to be closed then you just do it at the bottom like this so pretty simple all right so i'm gonna do it to where i have one closed one open uh and then at the back i'm gonna have just kind of the same thing so the way i have this it's kind of altered so like that door's closed this one's gonna be open um i don't know it just makes sense to me you don't have to do this uh that one's open so that means this one's gonna be closed Again, you can have all of them closed, all of them open, you know, just one open, just two open, it doesn't matter. Um, all right, and then once you've done that, uh, you want to go ahead and grab your uh, pillar quartz, you want to grab your glass pane, and, uh, um, and then you can actually also go ahead and grab your iron door and stone button as well. And actually, yeah, let's go ahead and put the iron doors in, it's going to be a lot quicker just to do this, so... Just go ahead and do that and then put uh, buttons on each side. There we go. So now for the doors, you want to make sure that the uh, pillar quartz is horizontal like this. You know, make sure it's not, you know, like like this. You know, you have one that's vertical because then it doesn't look good. You want it all to be smooth and even. So just make sure it's like that. Um, obviously, for if your door is going to be closed. If it's open, don't worry about it, obviously. But yeah, and then just at the very middle here, you want to dig out the middle row and just put glass. And then that's obviously a window. Uh, so yeah, obviously do this uh, for the doors that are closed. Obviously, if your doors are all open, you don't even just skip past this part <laughs> because this is only for those that uh, want them all closed or have one that's closed. I don't know. I don't know why I suck at talking. But anyways, uh, yeah, and then just again, middle row from the middle four blocks, put glass. But yeah, once you have done that, that is that completed. So now we need to grab um sorry i thought i thought there was a chest i'm so used to the chest it's honestly so much easier not having a massive chest of stuff <laughs> um all right so now i want to go ahead and, you want to go ahead and grab birch button bell and then you can actually also go ahead and grab the light gray concrete all right so for the bells the bells want to be in line with uh either the top of the doors or like the very bottom of the door here uh just wants to be in line here you want to put them on not only the middle but the sides as well 
Again, just kind of an old fashioned design. Um, oops, um, yeah. Oh, actually, you could have them on the sides like this if you wanted to. Um, but honestly, I personally like it like this. Or you could have like three bells in the middle, but that I just think is way too much. Um, but of course, do what you want. But yeah, I like the I like that. It's nice and simple. Uh, and I think stone button. Yeah, so stone buttons. It's just or not stone buttons. Birch buttons. It's just a row above the door, the iron door. Oops. But I'm just burning myself there casually. Uh, and then this is again just you know for detail. It doesn't. It's not meant to be anything. It's just kind of meant to be detail for the building. So don't worry about that. Yeah, so honestly, that's optional. If you don't want to add that, that's fine. If you don't want to add those buttons, but I think it honestly looks better with the buttons. All right, now for the light gray concrete, you want to obviously just go um, below uh, the um, slab here and then just completely fill this in. Yeah, and there we go. That's literally half of the fire station complete. So now we have to just do uh, this other side here. Um, so, uh, so actually, yeah, you can go ahead and get rid of your bell, your birch buttons. Uh, go ahead and grab, uh, well, actually, no, keep your light gray concrete. We're going to need that for the other roof. Uh, get rid of your pillar quartz. Um, and then get rid of your, I'm pretty sure, yeah, you can go ahead and get rid of your iron door, stone, but I don't know if you want to get rid of those. Actually, wait, no, don't get rid of the iron door because we need that for the roof uh, entrance. Uh, you can go ahead and get rid of the black and yellow concretes. The red concrete you want to keep it's for the helipad. Um... And then yeah, so just the pillar quartz, the yellow and black concrete, you can get rid of everything else we need. So don't grab, don't get rid of anything else. So yeah, now when, when you want to go ahead, you want to go ahead and grab brick, brick stairs, glass pane, acacia door, polished blackstone stairs, uh, and then brick slab. And I think that's really it for now. All right, so what you can really do just to make this a little easier to kind of start off, you want to put bricks just behind the um, smooth stone, and then just uh, drag it across to here. Right, and then uh, you also want to have it going across the the back here, like so. There we go. So that looks uh, that looks good, I think. All right. Oh wait, this doesn't look. Uh, wait, this isn't right, is it? Hold on. Did I do something wrong? Oh, okay. So the 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 fence actually wants to be one block uh, closer here. Oops. Yeah. So this uh, the iron bars want to be just a row closer, like this. Wants to be where the smooth stone is. There we go. So yeah, I was wrong. So not so yeah, so not where we start off at the the concrete, but where the um, thing is there. Uh, and then here, just beside the bench, you want to leave a gap of one. So actually, you already have a gap of three here. Find the middle block and dig out, and then just uh, line it up with the front here and do the same. This is going to be the front and back doors. So pretty easy to spot. This is literally just a long hallway here, and then we have the entrance to the garage, and then like the kitchen, exercise room, reception, bed area, whatever, stuff like that. It's all kinds of rooms in here. All right, so now uh, just beside the bench here, you want to dig out two blocks and uh, put upside down brick stairs. Go ahead and put uh, stone, um, smooth stone underneath the stairs. Pretty sure that's a gap of two. Let me check. Yeah, that's a gap of two. So you want to do uh, two gaps of twos. That's kind of confusing. So one gap of two dig out two, another gap of two, dig out two, and then it should be perfectly even now. Uh, and these are obviously going to be windows, so that's what you want to do here, all right? So yeah, and then you can actually go ahead if you want to. Uh, you don't have to do this yet, but go ahead and put glass pane on top. It'd be a lot easier to make the walls first, but just to get it out of the way, I'm sure I'm sure you may want to do this already. But And then you actually, if I uh, go ahead and double check here, if I'm not wrong, you yes you do the same thing on the other side so uh the same way we did the windows on that side you want to do the same thing on the other side so you basically want to leave a gap of three from the front door and then dig out two gap of two dig out two gap of two dig out two it's a pretty fun pattern there all right and then upside down brick stairs just like this with um smooth stone underneath the stairs like so so it hides all that dirt and again, you don't have to put the glass right now, but just to get it out of the way, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, so we're just going to make all the windows first, and then we'll fill up the walls. It'll be a lot easier if we do this. All right. And then at the side here, uh, you want to leave a gap of two. So just at the end here, the left side, you want to leave a gap of two. Dig out three, and then do upside down stairs. This is just going to be a big window. I think this is the kitchen window, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, and then like right here is actually where like the ladder is to get onto the roof. 
Um, and then let's see what else. And then just at this, uh, yeah. And then okay, yeah. So, all right. So, all right. So gap of two, dig out two. Gap of what was it? Three. Yeah, I think gap of three, and then dig out two. Let me double check on that. I literally forgot because I am an idiot. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Yeah. So we have the reception area room. And then we have the uh, bedroom, the bedroom here as well. All right. And this one, you don't have to put the smooth stone, but I would recommend getting rid of those annoying dirt patches. Makes it look a lot better. Oops. And then, of course, upside down stairs. You all know the drill. All right. And then glass pane up on top of the stairs. And of course, that's how we do it. That's how, you, that's how it should be done. There you go. So now that you've done that, that is literally all the windows done. So there's literally not that many windows on this building. It's like nine windows, it's not really that much. Um, considering it's a, well, I guess it's a fire station, I guess, but whatever. And then, yeah, so literally just fill in the bricks all around it. Um, and then you just wanna do just one row of bricks above the windows like this, just to completely fill everything in. All right, this is always a, this is probably one of my favorite parts of doing buildings is always filling in stuff like this. Yeah, so this is why I basically, um, you know, did the windows first. I don't have to like, you know, dig out where the windows go after I had already filled in the walls. It just seems pointless to do that to me, but, but yeah. So once you've done that, you want to go ahead and put um, blackstone stairs above each of uh, every window here. Uh, so like right here, you want to do the same thing. And then just back here. Oops, make sure they're all right facing. You could also put it uh, above the door as well if you want to, but um, I'm not gonna do that. I, just, I, don't, I like I like the doors to kind of be separate from everything else. But yeah, uh, so once you've done that, um, I think you actually want to do yes, you want to do one last row of brick, uh, one last layer, I guess I should say, uh, and then you want to again it's the same thing with the, the garage door or sorry the garage part, uh, the garage walls, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you want to top it off with brick slab, just like so. And again, same with uh, filling up, uh, oops, the same way we filled up the roof um, on the garages, you want to do light gray concrete all in here like so. So just below the slab, all right, light gray concrete. And then, uh, yeah, I'll do this off camera. So go ahead and fill that up uh, just like so. All right, y'all, once you have filled up the roof, we're gonna now make the uh, entrance so we can actually go ahead. Um, so you only need uh, the brick block, the iron door, the stone button, the smooth quartz slab, the red, and the white concrete. So everything else go ahead uh, and get rid of. Um, but these are the only materials you need now. Oops, I just realized I was way off there. Sorry about that. So yeah, just go ahead and grab everything that I've just told you to keep. All right. Um, sorry, anyways, so now, uh, once you have, um, uh, grabbed your stuff here, Whew, sorry, it's like really hot in here, all right, uh, you want to basically leave a gap of one from the window here, and you want to dig out three blocks, and you want to just put brick block like this, all right, extend, uh, each of the side bricks, like, forward like this. And then iron door like that and then just dig out a block here. This is where you can actually get inside uh, I'll talk about where to put the ladder um, uh, When we do the inside tutorial Or when I do the inside tutorial, whatever same thing really all right um, And then yeah, literally just fill up the walls like this and then just fill it up at the top all right uh, And then stone buttons on the side like this all right, and then that's obviously so you can get in and out uh, also, you may want to put a button, uh, or actually, actually no, don't put a button inside yet, because again, I'll talk about that in the interior tutorial. Alright, so, now the part that we've all been waiting for, not only the end of this tutorial, but uh, also the uh, helipad. So, um, again, does not matter if you want to put it here or at the top, all that matters is that um, you want to leave a gap of three from each end here. If you're doing it in front of the door, I'd leave like a gap of, uh, what was it, two or three, I literally forgot. 
Uh, two. Okay, I was right. And then it's a gap of three from... All right. So starting off, you want to do a row of court slab that's two blocks from the door if you're putting it here at least. Um, if you're putting, if you're doing it, uh, if you're doing it up here, it wants to be a uh, like one, two, three, four. I think it's a gap of four. Hang on, let me make sure I'm right. Yeah, so I think yeah, it's a gap of uh, four from uh, like the slab here. One, two, three, four, and then you just and then again still uh, gaps of three. Uh, at the ends like this, so yeah, gap of three, just like that. All right, and then at the other side, you want to make the same row um, that's literally you know in line like this, it's parallel. Um, but then, but it just wants to be uh, one block away, just like that. Uh, and then you just want to do diagonals, uh, and then just a row at the end like this. Do the oops, uh, exact thing, exact same thing at the other side, and that just kind of rounds it off like that. Next, you want to just do a uh, white concrete, round it off here, just like so. You just literally just, well, not round it off. I don't know what I'm trying to say. You basically want to uh, outline the inside here with the white concrete, just like that, and make sure you fill in the corners, just like so. And then, um, and then just kind of like. Uh, diagonal and a gap of one so like if we go from this corner here diagonal gap of one that seems a little too skinny yes it is okay so you actually want to just do diagonal from the uh, yeah so I was right okay so you literally just want to do diagonal from uh, the corners here like this and then just find the very I guess there really isn't a very middle so you just want to fill in the two the very the two middle blocks like that because there literally is no middle and then simply fill everything else in in here with the white concrete, and then that is the helipad. Very simple. Uh, can easily fit my helicopter that I, again, have a separate tutorial on, so you can make a fire helicopter. And, uh, again, I mentioned before, I will also make a fire chief car, or, like, the fire chief you can put out here. So stay tuned for that uh, when that tutorial comes out. But, yeah, guys, that is actually the entire fire station 100% completed. Of course, feel free to add more detail if you want to. Add more stuff back here if you want. But yeah, that's the entire tutorial completed, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. Again, interior tutorial uh, will be out uh, sometime. Um, again, it will be a separate tutorial, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And also, again, uh, the fire truck, fire, the fire, truck fire, uh, fire engine, and the helicopter each have their own separate tutorials, so be sure to check those out. Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash like, subscribe if you haven't already. Also, turn on post notifications so you don't miss when an awesome tutorial like this one comes out. But anyway, guys, I'll see you all next time. Bye!